Right, it's about um, half past ten-ish and I've arrived in Churchill got off at the Nelson Arms there's an, another pub there as well um, it's a pub crawling territory this is um, I got on the Rington bus at number 51 and I'm out it's supposed to be blue sky and warm today but it's actually grey sky with a, quite a breeze but it's not freezing and I'll keep warm by walking but it's grey and they were supposed to be blue skies by by now but that's how the that's how it is it was the east side of the country that's supposed to be like this grey and 13 degrees um, I got across a busy road in a minute and uh, A38 and I'll be making my way to Dolbury Warren um, I'm coming out anyway because this is the last stage really of the bluebells and wild garlic up happy what I call and it's another somebody else named it actually Happy Valley um, it the first time I come across it it was absolutely gorgeous day um, I've normally been up it when it's been warm sunny and blue skies um, we're now the date today is the 13th of May 2023 so we're nearly through halfway through May like I said we only get two and a half months of summer really I mean just over a month's time it'll be getting dark again two minutes a day and that's only in two months time and we haven't even had summer yet the day summer starts that's the day it starts getting dark and I always think that's really weird I don't know why they don't do the dark night starting in September they don't they do it the 21st of June We've, we only just started getting into summer then yeah like I say nine months of the year is really like this chilly grey um, it's very we've got horrible climate to be quite honest not for the plants they love it that's why they're all lush green. Um, well, we ever, probably we could have two hot spells, which will be a three-day heat wave, which classes our summer. Anyway, it's a lovely view there. Nothing's coming out very well because it's so dark and grey and horrible. And I'm going to cross here in a second. Right, I've got down to the base of Dolbury Warren fort up there, I'm not doing the fort today I might do it when it's a really nice day get better pictures it's too grey and cloudy and it'd be windy up there as well at least it's not windy down here Well, I can't remember exactly the last time I came here. I've got a feeling that I did do it and I did go down the West Mendip Way. Um, but I haven't at the moment, I can't find it. It's probably in the cupboard somewhere. Um, but if it's, it's probably within the last six, I'm sure I have done it since um, the bus 126 packed up and ended up at Winscombe. I'm sure I did. Just doesn't feel that long ago but it was definitely, I mean I broke my wrist on the 30th of January. I certainly want out here then in the winter so it could have been when I was still doing the 126. Today there's no 126. I'm doing a hike which is possibly might bring me back down here um, I haven't decided yet what I'm doing until I get up the top I'm going up what we call Happy Valley it sounds a horrible name for it because it's so beautiful um, a girl named it a horse rider so I've just you called it that ever since and uh, 
I want to go up there. I went up there first time last year and then I came down it and I came down it I went up it a couple times and now it should be absolutely gorgeous because as you can see the wild garlic is in full bloom the bluebells are still out and this I've, it's, I'm waiting for this sun to come out it adds so much colour when the sun comes out it, it emphasises the green and all colour Yeah, there's certainly been a bit of water. I think last time I came it was dry. I'm not quite sure at the moment. So it'd be quite full further up. Yeah. It's a lovely scene though. Right, I'm going to turn off the no, Aubrey Warren style. Normally this is very overgrown. You can't normally see up there, but obviously I've done a lot of pruning since I was here last. Um, so it must have been a while then. Unless I had gone up on the top, of course, and missed this bit. Sun's coming out, fantastic. Here's this huge big hill on leads up to the top of Dolbury Warren, and I normally walk along the top there. And if you go along here, you come to the secret steps that climb up round. I call, I call them the secret steps. And then you climb up and up and up and then you walk along the top. And this, this is all the hill fort. This is an Iron Age hill fort. Huge. Look at that. You might no one be able to get, get up there easy, would they? And, and have a fight when they got to the top. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, I think I must have done the hill, top of the hill fort last time we came. Because look at, I didn't notice this huge space. I would have noticed it before, so I notice it now. Yeah, that's amazing. I don't think I've got a picture of it, see? So that's a really good thing. See all the bluebells out. I haven't vid I'm not videoing every single part of the walk, by the way. I hope people realise it's just snippets I do. You know, my walks have sometimes gone for eight hours and you don't get eight hours worth from me. I think I probably did in the beginning. <laughs> I think people will get fed up with it. So I just do uh, a little bit of video, some photos, just to give you an impression of a walk. And I, sometimes I will go on for longer. I can do 20 minutes, half an hour without turning off. Um, I usually like to take photos as well, so I normally have to stop, unless I use two cameras. Uh, cameras are on hold this year, because I broke my wrist, I decided I wouldn't get any vehicle this year, because I've got to strengthen it up for changing gear. Also, I'm trying to get used to the increasing cost of everything. Um, I mean, my rent's gone up, my everything, like everyone else. If you've got a mortgage, your mortgage has gone up. Um, look at that lovely wall. They don't seem to be doing, bothering to restore these for some reason now. Maybe they'll just keep one or two stretches so we can be reminded of them. Is it is all part of the history, you see. And there's lime kilns embedded in this, these hills as well. But the steps, the secret steps would have gone up there by now, making their way up. But they're so lush and there's something magical about music, uh, water providing us the music, isn't it? No, do you know, I can remember going past the cottage and it doesn't seem that long ago, to be quite honest. I can remember saying about the woman who put her washing out as well. For some reason, I've, I've probably got a video of it in the wardrobe. I pack them away, see, once the wallet's full, I pack them away. And they're not, because I need to free up space on the computer, so they're not forever stored on the computer because they're in room. So I normally save them to cloud, save them to disk, 
and when I go anywhere special I save them to um, stick as well. So there's the big high bank of the hill fort right up there which I've climbed and I do climb no I it didn't that long ago you know that I did that walk I mean it might have been just after Christmas for example before I broke my arm um, my wrist which is I can do a lot with it, put it that way, but it is stiff and it's weaker at the moment. And it won't like holding the camera all day. Look at this lovely log, it's been here for ages. This tree. Yeah, no, I remember what. Remember speaking, I was saying hi to the woman who was putting her washing out. It isn't that long ago. I think I did the field before the cows and down West Mendip Way, up the Strawberry Line to Winscombe. I think I did that. Now that's a way I would have gone last time I was here, along that lovely stretch there. Absolutely gorgeous and full of green. Isn't that old mining ruins up there? Lovely tall pines and the hill fort, of course. The magnificent Roebarrow Hill Fort, where apparently they have had raves, I've heard. <sighs> you know, they get up there. Carry all their equipment up there. I expect they find a quick way up. Look at this there, isn't it gorgeous? <sighs> Hear that bird twittering? What it is, I go along here a little way, and then I turn right. And I go up towards Happy Valley. Like I said, when I get up the top, I'll then make a decision. I can't go back to Cheddar, don't forget. There's no 126. There's no bus. Um, it's a very complicated system they've got now. It's very chaotic and it's very ad hoc. Uh, I have to either... I did think about, if I felt up to it, walking... Um, for not the, not exactly the identical route. Getting back to uh, Sanford and walking up the Strawberry Line to Congressbury instead of doing the Winscombe bit and catching a Bristol bus, which are of course very reliable, and they run every twenty minutes. Look at that scene, everyone! It's fantastic green. Oh, I don't know, I've missed this place, but I knew I'd still be able to get out here, and I know, that's why I know I've been out here since. And I would have used the West Mendip Way to get back to Winscombe for the 51 bus. I know that. No, I did want, I'm, I don't know how fit I'll feel, but I think whatever way I do, I'm going to do a loop, and I'm going to... If I don't feel up to doing the um, Congress wee bit, I don't have to. I just stay in Sanford while I wait for the bus. The buses are so peculiar. Now, I must take a photo of this gorgeous scene, everyone. Over and out a minute. Look at that tree with its vines. Isn't it gorgeous? It's so gorgeous here. Over and out.